First of all, uh, we have here a Monticello browser, and we choose the repository is quicksearch.com slash environment. Then we can download the final version, in this case it's the 21. Okay. With this, we have a new item in the world menu. It's the environment browser. It's really a system browser with an additional column. This is the column for the namespace. We call it here environment. Well, we will do a simple example with elephants. First, we create an environment. And for this referring implementation, we have a relationship one-to-one -one with a package. For this case, we will not set up a, a package. OK. In Africa, we can create an elephant. And with this, and then in here, I can write a method. For example, let's say this. Um, the Africa elephant had really big ones. OK. Then we can have a new class that has the name elephant in another environment. For example, in Asia. We do it a right click and choose new environment. And in, in Asia, okay, yes, no. And in Asia, we can create a new class with the same name. Okay. Then, in a simpler workspace, there is no elephant. You know, because it's defined in some namespace. If you want to use the Asia elephant, we need to write Asia blank elephant. We can expect this. And we have an elephant in the environment Asia. But if you want the Africa one, we can use the Africa environment. OK. An environment is really a, a dictionary. Then it understands the, the common interface that is add, add, put, and you know. The message is only a shortcut for doing this. OK. We need uh, to use these new classes. Then we can create a new environment, for example, happy place, without a package, that, for example, can have a su class. In this new class, we will use the other class, the elephant. And for example, we can write a method that is elephant. Yes. Okay. What happens if we write elephant? There is no elephant class defined in the environment happy place. We need to use the other environment. We can use. Africa. And then we can instantiate this and send the message. And we can save this. OK. In a workspace, there is no sue class. Because this workspace is in the global environment, the small talk. And right now, we need to um, have a specific environment to know what class we are using. And then, this is going to be uh, really uh, boring to, to write uh, Africa and Asia and happy place. For this, we have a specialist uh, workspace per environment. For example, we can open a workspace for happy place. This is the workspace for the environment happy place. In this workspace, we can write sue, and it will be uh, the sue class defined in happy place. Then we can do something like this. No, this is the implementation. And then we can have the result that we want. But can be useful to have different elephants 
right now is an African elephant, but we want an Asia elephant, for example, and then we need to modify the method, one per change. And in this case, the result will be that the elephant defined in Asia doesn't understand the message. Okay, but what if it's really common to have an Asia elephant in the subclass? Then we can use some imports. We need to have a relation between the environment happy place and the environment Asia. For doing this, we can write happy place, add shared environment, and Asia. When I execute this, there is no need to specify the Asia environment because the relationship is direct. First, elephant will be search in the Asia environment, then in the small book. Okay? Then if I execute this code, we I hope that I will get an error that says that Asia Elephant doesn't understand the message error size. Okay? Well, um, for example, we can do a replacement. What happens if in happy place we want to replace one environment with another one? We can replace the environment Asia with Africa. Then I execute this code, and when I execute the first line, I will receive the message really big ones. Okay? There is another way to have a similar behavior, and it's using something that we call alias. And I think it's uh, really useful for expressiveness. For example, we can have a special environment that knows the animals in the zoo. And then we can write something like animals, elephant. This is another environment. In this case, the animals environment will be Asia or Africa. The, I think it's Africa right now. And then we can remove the shared environment and then we can have an alias. The message is using the Africa environment as animals. Okay? I execute this, then I go to here, and if all goes right, the result of the first line will be the same. 